down into small pieces and absorbed by cells, and that's used for energy and other building blocks. Digestion of the food starts in the mouth or the oral cavity. First, the teeth. The function of the teeth is to break down the food by chewing or mastication. The function of the saliva or spit is to soften the food and chemicals called enzymes start the breakdown of food. For an example, an enzyme called amylase breaks down carbohydrates. Here are some other digestive enzymes. Next, the food goes down the pharynx and the esophagus. The pharynx and esophagus don't affect the food, but it is a path to the stomach. The stomach is where most of the digestion takes place. It releases proteases such as pepsin, which breaks down proteins, and other enzymes as well as hydrochloric acid, which kills bacteria and uh, which kills bacteria and gives the proteases pH for it to work. The stomach's pH can go down as low as two, which is extremely acidic. The, the, now, I love chemistry, so I want to show a little bit of biochemistry on how a pepsin works on a protein. This is a dipeptide protein, and when the pepsin comes into the carboxyl group, it breaks down the protein and turns it into two amino acids. In relaxed state, the stomach is 45 to 70 milliliters, but can expand up to 50 times and in its full state go to 2 to 3 liters, which is very big. Okay, from here, the broken down slimy food called chyme goes to the small intestines, which is the duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. And where, where it mixes with the enzymes that have arrived from the pancreas and liver. The, the small intestines is where nearly 95% of the absorption takes place.